The qualified opportunity zones would not have happened without strong bipartisan support by the federal government. Congressman Steve Stivers is in his fourth term in Congress representing Ohio's 15th congressional district, which includes 12 counties in central Ohio, a district that has dozens of qualified opportunity zones. Congressman Stivers has served on the Financial Services Committee, which oversees banking, insurance, real estate, public and assisted housing, and the securities industries. Throughout his career, Steve Stivers has worked to encourage job creation and promote economic development. Prior to his time in Congress, he served in the Ohio Senate, where he was also focused on his work on economic development and job creation. He has worked in the private sector for the Ohio Company and Bank One, a career soldier with over 30 years of service in the Ohio National Guard. Stivers is a very strong advocate for veterans, and he is an example of that Ohio advantage that Governor DeWine spoke of because he exemplifies federal, state, and local governments working together in a bipartisan fashion to make local opportunity happen. Please welcome Congressman Steve Stivers. Thanks, Director. It's great to be with you today and uh, great to be with all of you. And I always like to get to know my audience. Can you raise your hand if you're from a city in Ohio or an Opportunity Zone here to, to educate folks about your Opportunity Zone? That's great. Can you raise your hand if you're an investor that's here that is interested in investing money in Opportunity Zones? A few, great, okay, great. Well, that's, uh, it's good to know who's here. I wanna thank Director Mahalik. I wanna thank uh, you for a great job of setting this up. What an amazing uh, showcase of investment opportunities in the Buckeye State. Uh, obviously, with your background as a mayor, you understand how important it is to bring private development in, and, and your city of Findlay's been a great example of that, but now we're gonna have a lot of cities who are gonna have great opportunity as a result of these provisions authored by Pat T. Berry, an Ohioan who was my colleague in Congress, and now he's doing bigger and better things. But uh, it's great to see you, Pat, and uh, I'm excited to get a chance to uh, support your program and help make sure this thing uh, happens and make sure that uh, it's clear. Um, and I, the federal government has a little more work to do. Uh, Tim Scott and I and a few other people sent a letter requesting some more clarification and, and I think they, they responded and have done a decent job, but there's more we can do uh, to make it clear and make sure these investments are ready and available. I want to thank the governor and lieutenant governor for supporting this effort in Ohio and helping make sure this program uh, got up and running. Uh, obviously, since coming to Congress, I've been focused on job creation and opportunities for people as well as economic mobility, and that's what Opportunity Zones are all about. Uh, they were part of the Tax Cut and Jobs Act. They had one simple goal, and that was to improve the lives of all Americans and create opportunities, opportunity in every corner of this country. And we need to bring that to a reality, and I appreciate what today's forum is gonna do to help bring more investment to Ohio and to many areas, including areas in my district. Um, you know, in my district, it's uh, central and southeastern and southwestern Ohio. Um, there are a lot of great communities that uh, you see on the wall, Athens, Chillicothe, Logan, Circleville, that are gonna be places where Opportunity Zones uh, go are gonna give the opportunity for job creation and actually be a win-win for employers and private sector investors, as well as those communities. Uh, I'm glad that Steve Patterson, the mayor of Athens, is here today. You're going to hear a showcase from him in a few minutes. We're excited to uh, get a chance to hear from Athens, which has Ohio University and has an incredible um, community. I was down there yesterday, and uh, there's a lot of amazing things going on in Athens, and I know Mayor Patterson is going to talk to you about that. Uh, that's just one of the um, showcases you're going to hear today. That was a great video by Hamilton. and. Uh, there are a lot of great showcases uh, that you're going to hear, but please dig into all the Opportunity Zones. Whether you hear about them here today or not, there are incredible places in all four corners and, of course, the middle of Ohio that are great to invest, that are going to be a big win. 
Uh, as we go through this, I already mentioned that Senator Scott and many of us sent a letter to Treasury urging some clarification on technical aspects with the opportunity zones. But if we're going to make this work, we need to hear from you the good and the bad as, as things roll out of what's clear, what's unclear, what we need to make sure we fix, because it may need a tweak here and there. Um, and that's why we're going to need your assistance, whether you are in a community or you are an investor. Please stay in touch with your members of Congress or call me. You can call my uh, office here in Columbus, 614-771-4968, or you can call our DC office. Uh, but we'd love to hear from you as we go through this process because we want to make it work. And uh, we want to make sure that it works for everybody because this is about economic opportunity for all. It's about leveraging private dollars. Uh, it's going to be an incredible opportunity. And together, we can make Ohio uh, an incredible investment opportunity and a place where uh, everybody that wants to work can work.